one of 2019's most anticipated titles, to say that Kingdom Hearts 3 has lofty expectations would be an understatement. Many have been waiting since Kingdom Hearts 2 to play the next installment in the franchise. For others, it's been since the release of Dream Drop Distance. But now that Kingdom Hearts 3 is out, the question on everyone's mind has changed from when will it come out to did it live up to expectations. The gameplay of Kingdom Hearts 3 plays similarly to its summer predecessor with elements from other titles sprinkled in. Form changes and shot logs from Birth by Sleep allow players to mix up their attacks. Flow motion from Dream Drop Distance gives the players more mobility in combat and in exploration. For those who skipped out on the titles where these abilities are introduced, they may seem a bit overwhelming, but they are implemented almost seamlessly and take no time to adjust to. The partner AI has also been improved significantly. The biggest example being Donald healing you at a much more frequent rate. Situation commands are also a welcome addition to the Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay. They replace the reaction commands introduced in Kingdom Hearts 2 and can range from form changes, team attacks, to attractions. The attractions of course being based on the popular Disney World rides such as Space Mountain and the Mad Hatter teacups. While these commands are not limited to one and can actually stack up to three, it makes navigating them a little bit difficult and more often than not you may activate a situation command that you are not aiming for. The gummy ship also returns, although it has been heavily overhauled. You no longer choose a set path to the world, instead you are free to explore the vast space and encounter not only enemies, but treasures and materials to upgrade both gummy ship and weapons. The customization of the gummy ship is only limited by whatever materials you have on hand and imagination, so feel free to design whatever wacky ideas come to your mind. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. The story of Kingdom Hearts 3 picks up shortly after the events that transpired in Dream Drop Distance. Riku and King Mickey are on the search for Aqua, a Keyblade Master from Birth by Sleep, as they need any and all Keyblade wielders for their upcoming clash against Xehanort. Sora, nearly having lost his body to become one of Xehanort's 13 Vessels of Darkness, sets out to reclaim not only his lost strength, but the power of waking, an ability that is used to awaken those hearts who have slumbered in the darkness. In typical Kingdom Hearts fashion, you arrive in each world, see that there's some commotion happening, whether it's via Heartless or the plot of the movie each world is based on, and help out. The pacing this time around is a little bit uneven. While some worlds integrate the conflict of the main game pretty well, others often put you towards the background and let the events of their own world transpire with Sora having very little interaction. Visually, the game looks fantastic. The graphics rival that or even surpass the CGI films that the worlds are based on. The power of the Unreal Engine gives new life to the worlds not seen in previous games. No longer are you restricted to small rooms and corridors, you can freely explore the worlds with transitions only occurring very minimally. Yoko Shinomura returns once again to compose the music for the game, delivering what may be the best soundtrack in the series. Remixes to established songs overshadow their original compositions, while her new compositions deliver that classic sense of danger and excitement that the series is well known for. Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't without its faults. The difficulty of the game, not counting the DLC critical mode, is very easy and provides very little of a challenge. As mentioned earlier, the pacing of some of the worlds is off and makes traversing through them a slog, while the base versions of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 didn't have much post-game content until their final mix iterations, they still had more to offer than what Kingdom Hearts 3 provides. So even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Kingdom Hearts 3 is the culmination of a saga spanning 17 years in 9 games. For fans who have played every game in the franchise, this is their version of Endgame. Many stories are closed, we say goodbye to many beloved characters, and we move on to the next chapter. While it doesn't hit all of the peaks that many were hoping for, it hits enough of them to deliver one of the series' finest games. <laughs>